Co-directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, this $170 million superhero adventure film has already grossed over half a billion dollars just two weeks after its April 4th, 2014 release. This ambitious follow-up to 2011's Captain America The First Avenger is the ninth installment in Marvel Comics' cinematic universe, and at 136 minutes in length, it's also the second longest. Fortunately, the Russo brothers do a great job balancing all the moving parts, making this sci-fi experience fly by. Everyone's favorite propaganda parkour artist is back with his unlimited stamina and vibranium shield, ready to tackle the forces of evil and the titular villain, this time emanating from within the one organization he felt he could trust. Portraying the title character for a third time, Chris Evans is perfectly cast as the down-to-earth hero still adjusting to life in the 21st century, never afraid to show off his ridiculously toned physique. Before unraveling a conspiracy within the S.H.I.E.L.D. agency, he grows wary of their tactics, warning, This isn't freedom. This is fear. The feisty and beautiful Scarlett Johansson is back alongside him to help vanquish the never-ending supply of evil henchmen and bad guys. Samuel L. Jackson returns as well and thankfully is given a much larger role, including a truly thrilling action sequence early in the film where he attempts to survive and escape a ferocious assassination attempt. Joining the group is Anthony Mackie as a humorous but still dangerous sidekick and Robert Redford in a rare supporting role as a determined World Security Council member. His decades of experience and gravitas elevate every scene he's in, making this comic book universe all the more believable and realistic. Other familiar faces like Haley Atwell, Toby Jones, and Colby Smulders make minor appearances as well, but since none of them have really given anything to do, especially Smulders, their inclusion seems more like fan service than anything else. The Russo brothers expertly balance the trademark wit and humor of the Marvel mythos with the whiz-bang explosive set pieces that perfectly space out the PG-13 rated picture. We have a 20 on the shooter. Tell him I'm in pursuit. Henry Jackman's loud and appropriate score is an effective contribution, but it rarely stands out. As expected, the visuals and effects are top-notch here, bringing to life ridiculous situations like dueling aircraft carriers hovering over the Potomac River, or Mackie's foray into the wild blue yonder as Falcon. While this massive undertaking never quite approaches the blissful excitement that the Avengers was able to accomplish, this is certainly the strongest standalone installment since the original Iron Man picture. I'll be the first to admit my 4 out of 10 score for the first Captain America picture was a bit harsh. But even still, this sequel is bigger, more tightly crafted, and infinitely more entertaining than its disappointing predecessor. With its mid-credits teaser appropriately setting us up for next year's Age of Ultron, this is easily a movie I could see myself re-watching before then. Captain America The Winter Soldier, blistering thrills with laid-back characters. Now let's check out the YouTube comments to read some of your reviews. Captain America The Winter Soldier gets a double nine on the rate matic Calling it tense, fast, and fun, you really love this picture, with everyone agreeing it was better than the original. You thought it was awesome. I have to agree here, this is a wonderful blend of humor, action, and espionage elements, and a very entertaining package. I've scored it an awesome as well.